really enjoyed working with enjoy solving problems. Mm. And that's, that's a big part of the game. We have instruments because they're on a bigger telescope. That means we can see smaller details. And uh, when you see the smaller details, instead of objects being like big blobs, you see them as little points of light, far infrared light in this case, that's coming to us. And uh, this is uh, what the telescope is able to give us. And the instruments are able to tell us more by um, splitting that light up. Probably the most interesting and exciting and possibly scary moment uh, was when I was involved in the testing of one of the instruments um, called Hi-Fi, when it was put into what's called the Large Space Simulator, which exists at STEC. This simulates deep space and uh, the operation of the instrument and the spacecraft together in deep space. And it was the first time that we could actually fully use all of the capabilities of the hi-fi instrument. And to start with, everything went wrong. And uh, there was some consideration that things were potentially broken or not in the right, uh, uh, not right, and we would never be able to test it properly. The pressure was extraordinary because everything had to be done in a very limited amount of time. So basically, uh, I remember people uh, working extraordinary numbers of hours to find out what was it was that was causing the problems and, and to fix those and to prove that the instrument could actually do all the things that it was supposed to do when it was in space. And, well, together we managed to do it. There are many discoveries that have gone on. There are several that have found water, uh, which is like ocean water in comets. We, we're finding many different things. And I, I don't know where some of these things will actually end up leading, what the final consequences will be. But we find things we didn't quite expect. And now people have to go away and explain that. The instrument I worked with there, Hi-Fi, uh, there are people working on such a huge range of topics, finding new molecules in the, in, uh, in, in the galaxy, um, and finding dark, uh, dark uh, molecule, molecular materials in the galaxy, things like this, which, are diff uh, which have changed uh, perhaps uh, many concepts about what the galaxy is like. In particular for me, I find that I uh, get to be in touch with just about every section of the project. We have three instrument teams, uh, I interact with all of those. Uh, we have a data processing team, community support team, all of these we have some interactions with and there are several other teams like the spacecraft operations here in Darmstadt uh, that we often have uh, meetings about how to help uh, improve the performance. One thing you have to have is perseverance um, uh, as well as being a good with science and engineering and uh, mathematics. I remember when I was 13, uh, I was asked, what do I want to do? And when I said I wanted to do something with astronomy or astrophysics, I was to promptly told that was impossible and very few people did it. But um, my advice mainly has been to people after that, that if you continue along the right routes, and keep doing well, there's nothing that necessarily will stop you from 
going to do those things if you want to do those things. Now, I essentially came to a point, I think, in my university where I basically said to myself, well, somebody will have to tell me to stop doing this. And I've reached my present age and nobody stopped. My family is not a science family. My family does nothing like this. So therefore, I'm a sort of a black sheep, I suppose. I've moved away from the normal things that people do or did from my town. Although there's at least one other person who uh, came from my school who is also in the agency. So um, uh, there must be something in the air in that area. One of the better things about working with ESA is to work with good people from different places. They're not very different. We're very happy as a group, my group of eight people or so. And, um, and the whole of the Science Operations Centre uh, pretty much works the same way. Um, I, I find it sometimes difficult to, unless somebody actually sit and talks to me about national, nationalities, I think more of personalities. I'd probably be a musician. I play the piano for, uh, I still play the piano, uh, but I started when I was seven. Um, that was another thing I thought I might end up doing as a career and decided in the end I was absolutely hopeless when I was playing in front of an audience. So that wasn't going to work. Um, but um, I, I do enjoy playing music. Uh, although I don't think too much now of anybody actually paying me to do it, but maybe if I'd have stopped with that in the past, that would have been something else. But um, uh, no, I got my I got a lot of satisfaction going in and doing my and doing my science, and uh, perhaps on another in another life, I might have been a musician, pianist. Mm -hmm.